Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Sideshow Game K here, bringing you a new map download. It's the Great Wall, built by me and a few friends. So, definitely hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and download this map. So, just a fair warning to anybody that's been on this map before, when I was building it, um... If you were in the game and I saved, you are, well, I did put you in the void, so you'll die, and then you'll spawn back where everybody else is supposed to spawn, right here. So, this is the little spawn, right here. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to go over me, the creator, my YouTube channel, and then the people who helped Hero Brian five nine three five nine zero one V Logic H D and Silent Predator. Thanks to them and a few others who helped, but they only stuck around for a, a little bit so I didn't put them in. Um Rule one two teams only attackers and defenders. Rule two hundred percent never allowed to go over the walls. Rule 3, no team killing. Rule 4, no breaking or camping near the iron doors. Um, camping near the iron doors goes for defenders only. <clears throat> Rule 5, iron doors will open after 2 days. Rule 6, iron doors will open at night and close at day. Rule 6, no setting traps within 12 blocks of the middle wall. That's for defenders only. Rule 8, defenders must defend the iron golem. Rule 9, attackers must attack the iron golems. Now these two, um, you guys can set your own objectives if you want. <clears throat> you can make it a um, last man standing game or whatever you guys want. But we added an iron golem to kill because we felt like it would be a good addition to the map. So, With that said, you got the defenders over here. And the attackers over here. Now, I'll go down here to the defenders first. You drop down here, go into the water, and then you gotta defend the iron golem. Now, either the attackers, well, the defenders can either um, leave him in the glass or let him out, depending on what you prefer. And then the attackers either have to break all the glass and then kill him or run around trying to chase him and kill him and stuff like that um, I suggest letting them out if you're the defenders just because if the attackers get close up here they can just break one and just sit here and kinda just own him without him really attacking a lot back so with that said um the each side has a bunch of chests hidden throughout the land and underground, so you guys can have fun finding all them. I didn't go all out with the resources just because I want it to kind of be a fair game, and I don't want someone to like go in a chest and be able to find five diamonds and make a sword, and you know it's kind of cheap when it's like that. So the resources are pretty even. You won't find anything really. Like, you won't find a set of diamonds or any really sets of armor besides maybe a few pieces of leather. Um, now, with the doors, how they work is, um, it'll be one day, one night, one day, and then the following night the doors will open. And then there are a few things that go on with the doors now. Um... The attacker side, if you choose to camp near the doors, which you can, like, you can get ready to run right in when the doors open. Um, there's dispensers here with potions in them, good effects and bad effects, so you can take your chances on trying to get a good effect and then messing up the defenders easily. But um, the chances of getting a, a really good potion is not that good. There's more bad effects than good so 
And then with defenders, um, defenders aren't really allowed to camp near the doors at all because one, they already have help, and that's these right here. Dispensers full of zombies and skeletons, so they'll help the defenders out. <clears throat> Make it a little bit harder. There's three doors, two on each side, and they both, they all got like a little bit of cover. So you can kind of sneak in, maybe dig your, your way in, do whatever you gotta do. And then bedrock goes all the way down to bedrock, so you can't dig through any of the walls or get out. There is one monster spawner on each side. There's a zombie on this side, and I believe a skeleton on this side. Um, the skeleton on this side, he's the monster spawner is not exactly within this square. He's a little bit on one of the outside edges, but you can find him just by going into the caves and stuff. You'll, there's an entrance to it. Um, now. With that said, we'll go into the mechanics of this. This is the day and night sensor, which at night the power runs through here, hits this pulse limiter, pushes this um, this block out of the way, and then when the second day comes around, the power will run back through here, and this block won't be on the way, so the power will run down here. Hit this piston, push this block, and then it will simultaneously run around here hit this push this block out so the power can't go down here anymore and then at that same time that night the power will run all the way down here go through that block go into here and then power the doors like normally and then this will all go back to normal like these will start closing at day and opening at night. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. This is the Great Wall. So definitely hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And definitely leave some comments below. And let me know what you guys think about this. Definitely like some feedback. It's been really positive lately, so... I like to hear what you guys say, and yeah, this map took a while to build, and I hope you guys enjoy it, so this is Sideshow KMK here, out.